the division and the original materials so the original character of the building, we can say. OMA. Intervention in, interventions in existing contexts leave two choices, infiltration or imposition. To succeed, the first needs subtlety, the second power. In this case, our interventions in the wider urban context can only be suggested. Power is limited to the interior of an existing building. This dualism has inspired the project. And Chippefield, perhaps the aesthetic model to adopt is that of the Persian carpet, already patched and mended over time, in which areas of form or perfection can coexist formidably within the thread there. In this way, part of the building could be brought up to the most uh, modern technological levels of finish and polish, while others would be left uh, exactly as they are. Well, OMA did exactly what they said. They were playing with the power of the internal spaces of these buildings, and they also kept it basically untouched, uh, uh, the, 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 the division of the buildings. Uh, the division of the building, whereas from the outside they start to play with the building. We can see that uh, in this uh, in this uh, proposal that basically they did transform the building. There are the symbolic elements and the main element, uh, and the main parts still recognizable there, but uh, the overall form of the building with the different materials and with the with different materials introduced would actually go for a certain we can say transformation of the, of the existing building. And the same goes with Chipperfield, particularly in the second stage, because for the first stage he proposed to leave the chimney, but for the second stage he proposed to uh, uh, tear down the chimney as the symbol, as the strongest symbol of um, kind of industrial building, and the other very strong symbol of industrial building were these empty spaces. So although at the first stage he was kind of enhancing this uh, type of space, in the second stage, he proposed to pack both uh, areas, so the turning hall as well as the as well as the boiler house, with uh, basically boxes uh, where the galleries were supposed to be uh, placed. So he uh, he is the only one in a way who uh, proposed total transformation of the uh, internal space. So what do we have as a red view? Uh, as I read to you, basically architects are talking about uh, three uh, approaches, coexistence, fusion and imposition. Uh, but, uh, and basically only imposition is something that we can say that where we can find this uh, big uh, difference between the old and the new, whereas uh, coexistence and fusion are both talking about ways how the old and the new could try to live and be uh, visible together. So basically, architects of today are not claiming novelty in a sense of tearing down the building, as, as we saw. None of them really, apart from uh, OMA, basically did propose something so, um, uh, so um, different or so aggressive as basically people, uh, as basically it was asked from them through the competition brief. And here I have a kind of with a summary uh, of um, how the architects deal with the uh, turning pole, what I was explaining to you step by step, and basically how they're dealing with the turning pole and how they're dealing with the boiler house. As we see, boiler house is always packed, so basically it created or contained this character of totally closed and impacts uh, a space as the uh, turning pole kept this character of an open space as it was. So, uh, in a way, kind of, uh, and sorry, before I give the final sentence, there is another, oh, there is a table that is missing, but uh, <laughs> I can read and maybe you can then later have a look into the table. Uh, I basically made a kind of uh, combination uh, or made a table of uh, how, maybe you can have a look here how these spaces uh, would work or what was the conclusion. So uh, most of the uh, competitors, always three or f uh, always four or five of them, were opting for co coexistence in terms of building tectonics or conservation in terms of building interior and building exterior. 
and only one or two would always uh, opt for um, uh, for transformation, as uh, we can see in both in terms of uh, tectonics or in terms of uh, spatial organization. So basically, uh, the old rule, and that's why I kind of uh, gave a bit of this title of uh, subversiveness of the old, where old was there, was left to be, uh, or was even invited to be totally uh, torn apart and uh, changed, but actually uh, people of, uh, or architects of today don't see history anymore as a threat, and they are actually working together with history, and uh, from that uh, point onwards, I was uh, then later proposing in my uh, PhD how to then uh, re, uh, re adjust in a way the conservation guidelines which are dealing with, uh, uh, with the conversion of buildings, in my case of industrial buildings. Thank you.